Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For this tutorial, I am going to be showing you how to crochet this lovely hat. Just to give you a look. James Boy's cap. I like this area. And then you can even sew a button if you don't want it. You don't have to crochet this. But I just really like this hat, how it turned out. Okay, so let's get started on how to crochet this lovely hat. <laughs> I love it how it turned out. Hello, this is Frida. Welcome to my channel. For today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to crochet this lovely hat. I have this yarn in my stash and I thought it would be nice to crochet with it. But uh, I don't think it's suitable for this uh, hat. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet it with a different hat. And this way I'm going to show you. I just want to show you how it looks like. It looks great on your head. And it's variegated yarn. It's really hard to see the details on this gorgeous hat. <laughs> There's so many details, like it's unbelievable. But uh, and it's really fun. So I thought to myself, let me grab. I have. Uh, I bought this in Kelowna in 2014 or 2015. I can't remember. I was supposed to knit a baby card again. I bought three balls just in case. But it's pretty bulky. It's a junky, chunky, all seasons chunky, and it's half half cotton and half uh, half acrylic. Sixty percent cotton and forty percent acrylic. So I thought, and this is what you need to crochet that hat. So uh, yeah, that yarn is hundred percent wool, and then uh, yeah. So I'm going to show you. So you start in the middle and you go around and around. You can, uh, and, I, and after that, I was going to make a little thing here to put it on to cover it, but I changed my mind. I'll just make something else with this. Yeah, it's very nice yarn, but it's because it's variegated. It, it's not showing the details on this gorgeous hat. Okay, so grab your desired yarn, but I would advise you to get something like chunky to create this gorgeous hat. And uh, maybe not a bulk chunky, but maybe a bulky would help. I don't know. I have this yarn and I have others that I put here, but uh, I have another yarn here. And this is uh, from Ice Yarn I bought. I did a, uh, I knitted a, what you call that? Not a Labrosky sweater, kind of, and I added this. She wanted cotton blend, so uh, it's this one 60% cotton, 40% acrylic. It's three weight, it's this three weight, but this is like four weight. So, something like this would even help if you have it in your uh, stash. I think you need well, let's see how much uh, yarn is gonna we're gonna use because this I had <laughs> lots of yarn in here. I can weigh it. <laughs> yeah, I can weigh it and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, on my uh, label it says to use a 7 millimeter, but I don't want to use that big of a needle, crochet, uh, crochet hook. It says I use a needle, knitting needle, but yeah, for some reason they never put the crochet hook suggestion. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my judgment and I am going to use a six millimeter crochet hook. Okay, so uh, I don't do the magic anymore, magic loop anymore. I, what I do is I chain three, just like this. And on the second, that's where I do my crocheting. So I'm going to do a total of nine, nine single crochets here. So 
so one it's going to be tight but the big the hole will get bigger so two three four five by the way i did weigh the head it's just under 200 gram four okay fill it for nine double crochet uh, single crochets and i'll be right back okay so i have crochet total of nine single crochets and i'm just going to put my my thingy i forgot the name <laughs> my brain just stopped so on the next row we're going to do double crochet on each uh, each single crochet so you should at the end you should have a total of 18 single crochets just like this it's gonna be tough well mine is chunky yarn <laughs> if you have a thinner yarn it would be easy so while I'm doing this I'm just gonna weave this I don't like ends Yeah, we'll meet you back here. So you should have a total of 18 at the end of this row. Okay, so I finished uh, the second row. And on the fourth row, what we're going to do is we're going to crochet uh, double on the next uh, double crochet, two single crochets on the next. Then I'm going to move this here so I know this is where I start my next row. And on the next, we're going to do one single, one single crochet. On the next, we do two single crochets on that same single crochet. On the next, we do two. And we do this all the way to the end. And I will meet you on the, on the uh, fourth row. Okay, so I have crocheted two single crochets and then one single crochet on the next. Okay, the next row is going to be two single crochet on the same single crochet. Then I move this right up here so I don't lose where I am. So when I come here, I know that it's going to be a next row. And on the next, I'm going to do single crochet and then do another single crochet. So we're going to do two single crochets on the single crochet and then do each separately, single crochet, single crochet. So we're going to do this until when you measure on your crown area. If you're doing centimeter it should be about yep let me just so when you measure it it should be about 23 centim centimeter or nine inches okay, it just it's not fitting in my screen here so should be this big when you do the crocheting okay, I'm, uh, I'm this is the reason I'm giving you the measurements it depends on which yarn you're using it can be a DK weight it can be a worsted weight it can be finger weight and so on and so on you just need to increase until you have nine inches 23 centimeter just measure it on your head and it should cover it just like this uh, I don't know how many rows I'm going to be crocheting because I'm I'm, use, I'm knitting with a chunky yarn. Here, I did total of nine. Nine means nine single crochet and then two single crochet on the. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Nine nine means uh, what I did is I did two single crochet on the same single crochet. And then I did eight single crochets separately. So I kept on increasing on each row. 
until I had the measurements on that hat I did total of eight so what I did is I did eight single crochets and then one uh, on the one single crochet I did two single crochets I hope this explains so I'm gonna let you crochet until you have your own measurement and I will come back when I have my nine inches across when you measure it on your crown it should be like this for an average head if you have a bigger head then crochet 10 inches if you have a smaller head do eight for kids you can do seven or even six for toddlers and it goes on forever okay so I hope this information helps so I'm going to crochet and I will come back to show you how to stop doing the increase and you will notice that your um, your fabric is going to become um, like I, I am having a hard time today the pills that I'm taking or I don't know my mind yeah it's like I can't remember the words <laughs> keep on forgetting oh I do apologize yeah like it if it comes like this don't worry about it that's what we need to give this nice uh, nice look on the head yeah. so I will come back and show you the rest okay I just finished that row and I just wanted to show you okay so I did two single crochets on the same single crochet and I did one single crochet and one single crochet so I did two single crochets and then um, so On the next row I start with two single crochets on the same single crochet just don't want you to get confused and then I'm going to increase increasing by doing single crochet in one single crochet single crochet and another single crochet and the third single crochet so this is what I mean by um, doing eight single crochets and it depends on your yarn if your yarn is thinner maybe you will do ten but uh, the eight is the average up to eight for this hat and then next I do two single crochets on the same single crochets and I continue doing one two three and then I do two single crochets I really like this yarn okay and then when you put it on it you will see it's getting bigger and bigger Okay, so that's what I mean by uh, doing eight single crochets up to eight single crochets, but measure it before, you know, you don't want it bigger than 24, 25, uh, nine inches, like you don't want it big. That's more what you need. Okay, so I'll be right back. I just wanted to show you, so I just finished two single crochets on one. And I did total of four and then you will notice that your hat is becoming this shape so nothing to worry about this is what we want so this is the fourth and I'm gonna try the fifth so that would be seventh row so I'm gonna do single two single crochets on that same and you will notice the two single crochets is just before if you get lost so you will see that the two single crochets that we crochet on that same single crochet we just do the two single crochets before so if you get lost if you lose where you are nothing to worry about and then you continue doing total of five one two three four five and you, when you measure it this is how it's gonna become I'm, yeah, it's really fun, the newsboy hat or cap with the brim that we're going to crochet, it's going to turn out pretty good. So the next would be the two single crochets, just before the two single crochets that we did. Okay, so I will let you crochet. I just finished, I don't know how many rows, I kept on going, it's really, this yarn is really good to work with, anything cotton blend. I just love it so I did two single crochets on the same and I did total of eight 
I'm on the last one so when you put it on it should be like this and when you measure it across it should be nine inches when you measure it so this is what we need okay so with this yarn it turned out perfect I did my increases now what we're going to do is we're going to do single crochet on each single uh, crochet for two rows without increasing or anything so we're just going to do single crochet on each single crochet i just want to put that marker here and then we're after these two rows we're going to start doing our decrease so yeah can you see it's really hard to see with this variegated yarn but this one's way better <laughs> Yeah, didn't work out. Some yarns does not work out what you're trying to create. Yeah, if I want to put this on the... Let me just try and put it on so you can have an idea. I didn't cut the yarn because... Uh, I wasn't quite sure. So with the brim, it should look like this. That's, it's really too much thing going on. Okay, let's go back to this. So what we're going to do is, like I said, do two rows of ink, uh, just doing single crochets on each, and I will come back after doing the two rows, and we will start doing our decrease. Okay, so I finished, and you will notice that uh, uh, your hat is getting curly, so... So what we're going to do is now we're going to start doing our decrease and this is the, and later on I'm going to make a little ball here you can just uh, um, crochet it or make a little tiny pom-pom you know just to put this on here to cover it it gives you that nice look <laughs> play around with it I, I don't think you can crochet it because it's pretty or you can what you can do is if you have a thick yarn you can divide this yeah so many endless thoughts. You can crochet a tiny little ball with the sp separating the yarn. Okay, so uh, I'm going to start doing my decrease. And then if you like, if you are the... Some people like to count their stitches. If you want to count it, it you should have a total of 90 um, uh, single crochets on your stitch. So, okay, so now we're going to do our decrease. To do our decrease... We're trying to come in the middle here. As you can see, you will see your triangles here. There should be eight or nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, I believe. Okay, so uh, this is where we did our single two single crochets, remember? To start a new row so I'm going to count one and then put my marker that's my marker to start my next row so I'm gonna do one two single crochet three single crochet four on the next single crochet and then okay four so we did four on the fifth, we're going to do our decrease. One, two, three. To do our decrease, this is how we do our decrease. <laughs> so you go one, just like to do a single crochet, but you don't pull your loop. And then you go to the next one, and then you should have three loops, and then you pull them together. So on this next, what we're going to do is we're going to crochet a total of eight single crochets. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And on the ninth, we're going to start doing our decrease. So we're going to go one, and on the next one, don't pull it, and then when you have three loops, pull it at once. So we continue doing this all the way around. We do one, two, oops, two, this is how it looks like so far. It's 
hard to see, but this is how it looks like. So we did two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and on the ninth we do our decrease. Okay, so continue doing that and I will come back to show you the next row. Okay, so I have crocheted all the way and I just wanted to show you we did four remember and then on the fifth we did decrease so when you come and do your last decrease you will notice you will have total of one single crochet two three four five six seven and eight ta-da perfect eh <laughs> so i'm gonna put my stitch marker here so from now on we're going to do a um, total of uh, five rows including this one so we're going to do four more and then doing decreases so every time you see the decrease you just go from in front and on be the next stitch and you just do your decrease so after doing the four more decreases we're gonna do the brim area you will notice that your hat is going to be coming uh, tighter so this is all you do one you don't even have to count two three four five six seven, eight, well, seven actually, and on the eight, because we're doing our decrease, this part is going to get smaller. Then you do your next decrease, just like this. So I will let you crochet until you have a total of five of these decreases, and I will meet you back here to start the brim. Okay, so this is how it is going to look like after you've done your uh, fifth decrease, the five rows of the decrease. Okay, let me just put it on my mannequin, my head mannequin here. And this is how it looks like. So when you look at it, you will see how it looks like. You can put it on your head and see how it's turning out. So you should have... Let me see where my beginning is. So you should have a total of one, I, I haven't counted, but one, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven, and eight, and nine. Total of nine decreases. Okay, so what we're going to do is, on this next two rows we're going to crochet without doing any decrease but we're going to crochet it differently okay so what we're going to do is right here in the middle I'm going to do a single crochet okay and then I'm going to go to the next not here but in this middle single crochet I'm going to make a single crochet on top and this way it's going to give you that nice, uh, it's like a knit look, but the reason we're doing this, so we're going to try to toughen up the brim, so it's going to be hard, it's not going to be soft, just only two rows, because we're going to continue crocheting a couple of more rows, and then if you don't want to make that, um, uh, that duck, duck head, uh, the duck beak, the brim if you don't want it you can make about five rows of this and then you can just cut it finish it and by the way I just attach my second ball so I'm on my second ball so you need at least a hundred gram and over yarn to crochet this uh, 
you need 200 gram actually so uh, 200 gram let me see how many yards is of this half doesn't say does it and 93 so you need at least 200 yards of yarn to crochet at least you will have leftover so I might make another hat out of this one <laughs> I can gift it to someone or I can just sell it on my Etsy shop so this is how you crochet so you're gonna crochet come around and then do the same on top of this for a total of two rows and then I will come back to show you how to start that beak that newsboys uh, cap that covers that covers from the sun that's what I like about it I like something on top of my um, L, uh, my uh, my uh, like umbrella just to cover the not to get annoyed from the sun because here in Edmonton it's very sunny it's cold but the sun is out there and it shines just right in front of you so this will help a little bit okay so continue crocheting and I will come back to show you how to do that brim okay so I have crocheted total of two rows it looks like three but it's two because of the first row we did it on top so after doing the two rows what I'm going to do is let me just uh, if you want you can put it on the mannequin you can put it on your head and you will notice that it's tight see if you look at it it will look tight just to give you an idea I'm just going to move this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide. So we're going to divide total three. So one, this is where we did the decrease, second decrease. So one, two, three. So here, right here, where the decrease is, mark it and we're going to start crocheting back and forth and back and forth about eight rows yeah I should have put it here not back <laughs> my goodness okay so one two three right here where the decreases so one two three so we're going to start here and then to do that we're gonna start okay, we're gonna start crocheting two single crochets where the increase is and then we're just gonna go this is just a regular crochet single crochet not we're not I'm not going on top of it the reason we did that you can notice that it's thicker than regular single crochet this method gives you this thicker and this method is done on uh, crocheting bags to point that out so you learned a new stitch today if you haven't known and then we go all the way where the increase is we just do single crochets and here's the ink so here's the decreases this is where we're going to do our increase so right here we're going to do two single crochets on that uh, decrease okay and then i'm going to go to the next where the decrease is i'm going to Again, do an increase, do two single crochets. Okay, so one, two, then I'm gonna go to the next one. Just like this. Okay, and this is the last one. Okay, so this is the brim that we're going to work on so I'm going to turn my work no do not chain or anything and then not here but here we're going to do a single crochet so we're skipping and when we're skipping we're decreasing 
So it's going to become like a round. And then we'll just do single crochets on top until I come to that other end. Just like this. And we do this total of eight rows. So this is our second row. Then we just do our regular single crochet. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I came where we did the two uh, single crochet. So this is the two single crochet. So I did my single crochet and I'm going to turn my work. No chain, nothing. Just turn it and then skip one and then go to the next one and do your single crochet. Just like this. And then you will notice the hat. See? Okay. Then I will meet you here. Just do your regular single crochet. Okay, so I'm at the last and I did my single crochet and I turned my work. No chain or nothing and I just skip this one and then I continue. So I'm going to let you crochet a total of eight rows and I'll meet you. And then we will try to finish it up. Okay, so I have done a total of eight rows when you count it. You will be finishing this last row so we're going to finish it to finish it so what we're going to do is on this last uh, on this last single crochet we're going to do two single crochets just like this and then we're going to go and do a single crochet here so we're going down now on the side just like this we're going to make single crochets. Okay. The cap of the hat. The I think that's what's it called. Okay, and then go to this next one. One more. Okay, so we're on our here. We're going to do two single crochet. Okay, I can move these now. I'm done with these markers. So we're doing two single crochets to give that nice. And then from now on, we're going to go on top of each of these. Uh, remember, we did the two row. So we're going to do single crochets on each on top of those single crochets on top of it just like this to give that knit look and then it will give that uh, hard like this would be stiff not here on top in the middle of the single crochet okay i'm going to let you crochet all the way here and then we'll uh, when you come here i will show you and this is how it looks like so far. I put it on my head. It is uh, nice and tight. It's not loose. The other one was pretty loose because it was 100% wool. Maybe that's the reason. But yeah, we, we need it tight. Like it has to be snuggled on your head. Okay, so I'll meet you back there. Okay, so I'm back here. I'm going to do two single crochets on here. Just to give that nice curvy look and then I'm going to do single crochets all the way up just like this I'm not counting or anything I'm just using my judgment then okay right here on this corner I'm going to do right here on this corner I'm going to do two single crochets remember we did two single crochets here just to give that nice uh, curb look okay. and then what I'm going to do is from here I'm going to go on top of each single crochet so I'm trying to uh, make 
these tough as well on the edge of the cap. Just put it on your head. Um, you should make three rows, including this one. But if you notice it's too long, just finish it with two. Just like this. It's going to be a little bit tough. Then you go on top of each uh, all the way around. So do uh, two more rows after this and I will meet you here and we're going to finish it. Oh, well, here actually. Here. Then we're going to finish it. I have tried the hat and it's. I think this is enough. I'm not going to crochet three, two more rows and it would be too long. So I'm just going to finish this. So I came all the way here just to show. I came all the way here so I'm, to finish it. This is what we're going to do. So you're going to go to this as to do a single crochet, but you're going to do a slip stitch just like this. Go to the next one and then just do a, we're going to give that nice look, edge look. So do a slip stitch all the way around. Well, not all the way around on this cap that we're working on. So we're not crocheting another row. Just to give this nice look. So we're finishing this part. Just like this. See? Try it on your head. If it's it's if, if you want to crochet, you can crochet two more rows. But uh this yarn is already chunky and it's enough for me. So I don't want to have it this part long enough. So, all the way. Just like this. So everyone's sending me a fan, fan, uh, friend request on Facebook. I don't get it. I must have had already 20 people today. <laughs> and I don't think they're my YouTuber followers. It's like, uh, like a chain or something. Okay, so I'm uh, done this part. So we're done. We're finished. But I want to crochet another row, <laughs> another row all the way around. And I will come here and cut the yarn. And I will show you how to make the, um, the little ball to put it on top there. So on each top, I'm go this is going to be the last row. Just like this. And I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so I've crocheted another row and I'm finished. To finish it up, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go here and do a slip stitch. Another one maybe. And secure it. And then I'm going to cut this yarn and I'm going to weave it. As soon as I find my scissors. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to cut it here and then I'm going to weave this. Just weave it, secure it. So I'm going to do a little ball here or something just to uh, create that nice look up there. Okay, I was going to spread this, but that's okay. So not a ball, but something like this. And then we'll come here. Something like this, not a huge 
thing. Maybe look at make it longer. Then come here. Yeah. Something like this. And then put this, pull this from here, from that hole. I remember when I was a kid, I had a hat like this, and it was a, it was a mustard color in the 1970s. I wore that for years. Something like this, just to give a nice uh, touch. And then you just secure this here somewhere, just like that. Ta da! <laughs> give that nice look. I think uh, mine, uh, when I was a kid, mine had a button. So you can put a button. But it was. Uh, like the yarn. So I hope you like this short tutorial that I just wanted to share. And when you try it on, it looks perfect. I will put a picture with me wearing it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching my tutorial. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. Share it with your family and friends. And happy crocheting!